The COVID-19 pandemic has made farmers adapt to allow them to still feed the country. Dairy farmers have been struggling after the market they sell into has decreased, causing milk to be wasted. Things are moving so fast um, and problems are coming up. You know, I think we haven't seen the worst of the problem yet in dairy. I think it's going to get a lot worse because of the oversupply. I think there's going to be a massive oversupply of milk. Um, and until that sort of redresses itself, I think, um, you know, it's going to be a real problem, I think. Moa, who we sell to, have, have actually put a quota on us at the moment because of the quantity of milk that they're having to deal with. And although we're selling to the supermarkets, um, because it's sort of peak milk time of the year, um, nationally, processes are really struggling to cope with the volume. Uh, so Muller have asked for a 3% cut in what we'd normally produce at this time of the year. So we're having to throw away about 500 litres a day, which is not a nice thing to have to do. Um, there are other milk processes out there who sell mainly to hospitality and catering outlets whose market pretty much disappeared overnight. And so some of those guys are in a much less fortunate position or uh, owe a lot of money and are extremely worried. Arable farmers have also had to adapt. And if the lockdown continues, some farmers will struggle to get hold of the supplies they need. We're busy at the moment planting crops rather than harvesting and selling. And we're keeping to our own machines so that there's no contamination. We are mindful that we are sh not short of, but we could be if it goes on for a long time. Gas for welders, gas for cutting uh, stuff and uh, basically parts for machines. We've got a reasonable stock, but if it goes on for a long time, that could be the, the issue that we have is with parts. But it is the supply chain, it, we've noticed it, it is affecting, yes. Livestock farmers have been impacted when taking livestock to markets and have had to adapt to the new regulations and the public's bulk buying, which has caused the prices to fluctuate. Markets were struggling because farmers aren't allowed to be in the market while their animals are being sold. Um, but then, obviously, that, that shortage made things speed up again. A lot of lambs were being sold last week, all the cattle were required. So it's kind of picked up again. Numbers have shot up this last 10 days. Um, supplies needed, supply and demand. Bethan Edwards reporting from Shropshire.